Shalom, coming in spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect, pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. This lesson is going to be titled Reason for Parables. It's going to be a short one, but an important one nonetheless. I'm going to start off in Matthew 13. Three. So it's talking about Yahweh Shai is talking here. I'll read from one actually, so you can see what's going on. The same day when Yahweh Shai, slack, the same day went Yahweh Shai out of the house, and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him. So that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and for, forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell, in, but other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Right? So that's why he talks in parables, because it's not given to them to know the kingdom of heaven. Right? And realistically, like, the reason why they don't understand is because, you know, the Rakak Kodash is not with them. Because the only reason why the apostles understand is because, one, they, they've been following Yahweh Shai, and two, the, the Spirit, the Most High is dealing with them. So they can discern between what Yahweh Shai is saying. They understand it, right? But it's only because the Spirit is dealing with them, right? And, and Yahweh Shai has been teaching them and everything. Because, like, if you're reading the scriptures, and, like, the only reason why you understand it is because the, the Holy Spirit is dealing with you, you know? Because you have to remember when you first, maybe when you, maybe before you got in the truth and you read the Bible, you didn't understand what it was really saying. It's because the Spirit wasn't dealing with you back then. It's just that simple. You know? Um, yeah, so we'll keep at 12. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Right? Basically what I just said. Right? Because, like, if, if, if you, if you be given the Holy Spirit, you know, the Rakak Wadash, right? It will, the, the Most High will increase it, you know, through your works, obviously, through your, your, your faith, but He'll increase it, right? But someone that has it and is not using it, like that talent, you know, how should I give you a talent? You're not using it, it's going to take it away from you, right? So I'll read again, for whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Right? Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Because it's just like it's no point of giving them this knowledge with understanding, because this is precious. Is precious. The scriptures also say, "Don't give your uh, your pearls unto swine." Right? This is precious, precious information. So you're not gonna just give it to them. You know. Um. Okay. So we're gonna jump to.
Actually, let's keep reading. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. Yeah, because everyone's asleep. Everyone is asleep. For this people's heart, mind, is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, their mind, and should be converted, and I should heal them. So he's saying that if these people, they're, basically their minds are closed off, they're asleep. But if you, I was, if basically if they were to able to hear and see, you know, and understand, and they end up being converted, then Yahushua will heal them. Because then you're one of the elect, you know. And that's why I mean. That's why he talks in parables. Because it's a, it's like a it's like a codex, right? Only the elect will understand it. Only the elect will be able to understand what you know Yahweh Shai is saying in the parables. Because the Holy Spirit is going to be dealing with only them. That's why he has to talk in the parables. Because it's just it's just a way of sifting, right? Because only the elect are going to understand it. Um, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. Yeah, they're blessed because you're one of the elect. The apostles, those disciples are the apostles. They're one of the elect. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. Right? So the other people that are, you know, probably been studying, you know, in these schools, you know, learning about the scriptures, you know, through their teachers, wish they could understand it the way, you know, the men of the Lord can understand it. But they'll never will be able to do that. It's not for them. And have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away, slack, catcheth away, that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receiveth seed by the wayside. Right, so he just explained it a little bit. Then we're going to go to 35. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going, to I'm going to mark now. The point has been made there. To make sure it's Mark four, four and two. So basically, he's talking about the sower seed um, parable. So I wanted the part that's important is right here. I just want to read it again because he just we just read it in Matthew, but it's important. Uh, Mark four and thirteen, and he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? So he's saying like he's asking like you guys don't understand this parable. If you don't understand this parable, you're not going to understand the other parables because it's true. You know. Then he says, the sower soweth the word. So what the sower is sowing is the word, right? And once you understand he's sowing the word, then you, the whole thing makes sense. So I don't need to go into that. And that is the word. The word is what's sown into people. And then depending on what happens, sometimes Satan just comes and takes them away because it wasn't rooted properly or sown on stony ground or the earth um they didn't it, it didn't root himself properly into the earth not deep enough right so so many things happen so that's why like if someone you give them the truth and it seems like they're getting it they getting it getting it and then all of a sudden something happens and they're gone and it's like well they were never really in the truth right it's really just judgment because now they know the truth and they turned their way they're they're back from it, and went back into the world and went to go be do wicked be wicked again, 
So when Yahushai comes, right, and they're saying, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. He's like, yeah, I did. I told you. I told you here. Remember? They have no cloak for their, their sins. Deuteronomy 19 and 18. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition, and behold, if the witness be a false witness and hath testified falsely against his brother... Yeah, that's actually what all I wanted to read. So, the judges, the judges are the are the basically the elect because the elect are going to be judges of all of Israel. They make diligent inquisition, right? Because that's a trait of a, a a judge is that they're diligent. They're diligent. They constantly search out things until they get their answer, right? And to understand the parables. You need to study, right? You need to study, 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 study. And eventually it'll be revealed to you. You know, Yahweh Ratzah, of course, that the Most High is, you know, you're one of the hopeful elect, or one of the elect. But um, to be a judge, you need to understand. And to understand, you you have to, one, you have to fear the Lord, right? And if you fear the Lord, you're going to put in work because you you believe, Right, and all the elect are going to do that. And the elect are judges, like I said, and they're going to be diligent. So that's why I read that, right? And that's why only the elect are going to understand the parables of Yahweh Shai. Second Peter three and fourteen. It's the last one. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found in Him peace. Found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Yeah, so like, like I just said, um, the elect are judges, and they're gonna be diligent, right? So you gotta look, you gotta search, you gotta, you gotta study, you gotta read, right? So that when Yahushai comes, right, you may found him in peace. So you're at peace to Yahushai. You're not against him, right? Without spot and blameless, because you you did the work, you pushed. And you studied and you you grinded and you did everything you're supposed to do, right? But like I said, all the elect are going to do that. And to get to that point, to be without spot and blameless, you need to read the scriptures. You need to understand the parables so you can keep purifying yourself, right? And only the elect can do that. Only the elect. So it's not for everybody, right? So um, I hope the less the 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 point has been made. I hope this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. I'd like to close out by saying, Ka halal Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect, pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Death and destruction to his wicked kingdom and the two thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal, Shalom. <laughs>